up everybody welcome back to my channel my name is kyle trees i'm back with another video in today's video it is not a hair video it is a uh feminine product video and how i store them and things like that so first things first whenever i'm on my cycle i use tampons i love using tampons um i'll use a tampon and then i'll put a pad like under because i don't want you know no leakage you feel me or uh, anything like that so that's first things first and i do want to say going organic is definitely the way to go if you are still using some of these brands that are not organic please change because i don't know just change them you'll feel better you really really will like you'll feel better you'll you'll just feel better and my cramps have lessened a lot especially with using honey pot honey pot stuff so good so good so good i have been looking for good organic brands i've tried the just brand i've tried organic and then i tried honey pot was honey pot was my last one because you know how when stuff is over heights you don't really want to try it because it's like okay what's that about you feel me like i don't know i'm i'm really late if you notice like if you have watched my channel i'm really really late to the party on a lot of stuff like i just joined tiktok a couple days ago you understand like i do not be about the hype or anything like that but in this video i'm just gonna show you how i store my tampons and things like that so first things first i don't live by myself you know what i'm saying i don't live alone yet yet we're manifesting that shit in the air. <laughs> Alright. Come on now. We manifesting that. But yeah, I don't live alone. So I don't like my stuff being like just sitting there under the sink in a box. I don't like that. You feel me? It's just it's I don't like that. I just I just don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. So what I do is I get me a bag. This is a bag that my ex bought me. Um it's funny, I did a whole story time on it. But yeah, this came with a little set. And I was like, well, I'm not finna throw it away. But I'm not finna wear it. So why don't I just use it as a, you know, little bag for my for my supplies and things like that. So that's what I'm using it for. So in here, I have honey, I have some Rayel panty liners. I have honey pot panty liners. This is back when I was like trying different stuff. Um, so yeah, I have a nice little, you know, nice little uh, selection of what I want to use. <laughs> and these are the organic, no, this is Tampax. I have to get rid of these. I'm getting rid of all of my Tampax stuff because, yeah, this is Tampax. Because they're not organic and I haven't, I just want organic stuff in my life, you know? Like, I don't know. That's just what I want in my life. So, yeah. Alright, so I had one honey pot one left in my bag and that's how that's how I know it's time to, you know, re-up. And I have a couple of organic ones, but I like the honey pot ones better because the stick is longer. Um so yeah, this is the little bag as you can see. It has all my stuff in there. And so now I'm just going to take all the honey pot. honey pot pads and put them all in here now i don't know the difference between all of them because i had a green pack last time and then this is the purple pack i really don't know the difference it's still infused with mint lavender and aloe which is really really good so the honey pot ones the honey pot pads they're infused with mint so down there i'm guessing it helps your cramps but down there it's gonna feel like a peppermint patty like on your thing thing you feel me like it's gonna feel it's gonna feel you're gonna feel a cooling sensation does that make sense like it it really be a cooling sensation and it helps i guess it helps my cramps because my cramps i haven't cramped nearly as bad as when i was just using the non-organic versus organic and this is a black brand a black company so like come on black woman owned come on now gotta support 
see they smell like you can smell it they smell good too i don't know um so then i just put my so these are my honey pot organic tampons i got what is this super i usually get super because sometimes my flow be like very disrespectful and so yeah so what i do is i'll put a tampon on and then i'll use a pad to catch like whatever the tampon don't or like let's say if i'm out one day this may be too much information but you know what we talking about it okay whatever um I, I was on my cycle, right? And I was in the salon. I was getting my hair done. I was in the salon and I was getting my hair done. And, you know, I was getting color. So I had to like lay there with my my head in a bowl. And I'm just like, dang, you know, I need to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope I'm, I'm good down there, whatever, right? Now, when I had on the way home, I could feel myself like, you know, leaking on the, on the, uh, tampon. I mean, on the pad. And I'm just like, dang, okay. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of blood down there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I, I went home and it was all in the pad. Like it didn't leak off the pad onto my panties or none of that and it was a lot you feel me so it's like these definitely work especially if you have like heavy flow or things like that these definitely work like i have not had a problem with uh bloody panties <laughs> listen this needs to be talked about and i don't like you know you're not you're supposed to you should feel comfortable talking about this because this is something that happens to all women all women go through this so um you know i'm breaking the barrier and i'm breaking my silence i'm telling y'all my story because i know somebody done went through this before especially if you sitting in class you know what i'm saying your teacher being an asshole not allowing you to use the bathroom you feel me i just get the hell up and go i i actually had that happen to me one time um a bitch ass teacher of mine she wouldn't allow me to go to the bathroom. I asked her, like, hey, can I go to the bathroom? Mind you, I, I never asked her to go to the bathroom because I don't like getting up in front of people. You feel me? So I never got up, like, in front of the class and, like, asked and went to her desk and be like, hey, you know, can I go to the bathroom? I just go to the bathroom whenever, like, through, through the bells ringing and stuff like that to go to your next class. I asked this woman, I said, you know, can I go to the bathroom? And she looked at me, she said, go sit down. I got my shit, walked out of the classroom. Very, very nice, very peacefully. I didn't make no fuss, I didn't make none of that. But I'm like, you not finna um, not allow me to go to the bathroom, especially if I have something going on. Like, she was like, you know, you need a special note to leave the, the class. I got my shit very, very peacefully. And one of my teachers, I got my shit very peacefully, went to the bathroom, went and used the bathroom, and um, to keep myself from, you know, I didn't want to leak through my school clothes. And then as soon as I got out the bathroom, I went to my favorite teacher. I went to my favorite teacher, I told her the situation, I said, you know, I'm on my cycle, she didn't allow me to go to the bathroom, I'm a good student, I did ask her, but... She told me no. I got up and walked out because I'm not finna just not. You know what I'm saying? She and she was a woman, so she should have understood. Like, just let girls go to the bathroom. Like, what's wrong with you? But yeah, and so she was like, okay, just sit in my classroom until the bell rings. And do you know I did not get in trouble? I did not. I did not get in trouble. I didn't give a fuck if I was getting in trouble anyway because you're not finna not let me go to the bathroom. I didn't go back to her class that day. Um. She like just sitting here and do your work and i did i sat in there i was like i said i was a real peaceful child you understand like i didn't make no no fuss about nothing got my shit very peacefully while out of the classroom because no you're not finna allow me to not use the bathroom you got me fucked. especially if i'm on my cycle i shouldn't even have to say that i shouldn't have to tell her hey you know i'm on my cycle can i can i use the bathroom no you should just allow me to use the bathroom Especially if you know I'm a good student and I don't talk, I don't make no disturbances. But you just being an asshole because you because you wanted to be. Oh no, nah, we gonna fix that up right quick. 
the next day i didn't get in trouble on day but anyways back to i just wanted to let y'all know that because if you are a child don't let no teacher not let you use the bathroom you get the hell up and you use the bathroom and if you have to call your mama call whoever you need to to uh defend you or somebody that will defend you call them up and have them defend you because you're not no i wish the teacher would try my child i ain't got no kids but i <laughs> this is why i can't have kids because i if somebody mistreats my child I'm in the car. Like, you understand? You mistreating my baby. I'm in the car. I'm on a boat. I'm on a plane. I'm in the RV. I'm I'm in something with wheels coming up there and whooping your ass. Anyways. Um, so these are the honey pot ones, and I'm just gonna put them in here. And if you have like a school bag or like, let's say, I feel like if you in high school, you should be carrying a purse. That's just personally how I feel, especially if you have, you know, stuff going on with you. You should definitely carry a purse. Um, That way, when you, when you have to go to the bathroom, ask to leave, you got your purse with you, do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? That's why I have my... So this is my bag. I used to carry, this is nothing new. Like I used to carry totes. If you know me from like high school, back in the day, you know I, I always had a tote. I always had a big ass bag. So this is my tote. Even as a woman like today, I don't, I'm not in school or nothing like that. But even as a woman today, I still carry like stuff in my bag. So right here in the tote, this is the tote area. I have, um these little pad these pads and then down here i have some uh tampons and i have some ibuprofen in my little wristlet because you just never well i know when i'm gonna start because i have a period tracker on my phone but it's like you know let's say you out somewhere and you you just out you know what i'm saying you have stuff in your bag with you so i have some um ibuprofen in my little wristlet part that i can take if i if i ever you know get on and i'm out in public that way i'm that way my stomach's not hurting you as a woman you just need to keep this stuff in your bag you know what i'm saying i recommend every girl carry a purse or some type of little book bag purse type thing so you can keep it keep your stuff with you you know what i mean um and yeah so i just have my little stuff in there and my things like that and then i have my wipes as well when you're on your cycle i don't use tissue like period but um especially when i'm out in public i'm not using i know in in school bathrooms that tissue be like real real thin you feel me so I use my wipes, um, especially if you're on your cycle, make sure you, you know, you use your wipes and, you know, cleanse yourself, things like that. I know when you're at school, you can't really do that. So just use some honey pot wipes and wipe yourself up, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, put a fresh one on and go on about your, day, go on about your school day. Um, there were times where I used to be in school, like, I would really have an attitude because I was cramping. So, um, I just keep stuff in my bag i just keep my uh my ibuprofen in my bag and things like that that was something my mama taught me as a girl like a little girl um and things like that so what i do want to mention is what else when i was in school um one day I did actually have an accident, you feel me? So I made sure to bring a change of panties. Like when you know it's that time, make sure you put a change of panties in your bag. That way you can like, you know, wipe up and change, you know what I'm saying? Get you some hot water and get that stain out, you feel me? And put them in, put them in your bag. Like this is something that y'all need to know. Like literally this is something that y'all need to know. Like for real, because it definitely will help you um that it was so it i was so pissed because it was that one time that i didn't like bring no extra stuff 
that one time, all it takes is one time for me to carry for the rest of my life. You feel me? One time. I was like, damn. The one time I ain't got stuff. And my mom has had to come get me a couple of times from school because, you know, you just you can't control it. You feel me? Like you can't you can't control it. <laughs> um, she has had to come to get me a couple of times. One time I was in summer school, she came to get me. Another time I was at like a I was at school and I didn't even go to my next class. I just sat in the office. And I told her, I said, I told the lady, I said, um, I called my mom. She's on her way. I'm not going to class. I was, listen, <laughs> I was not finna go to class. I was so, I was super, super shy. And I had it getting up in front of people. I did not, I was very, very shy. You feel me? Like, I was the one to, like, not understand shit you talking about. But I'm not raising my hand because... <laughs> I don't want people looking at me. You understand? I'm going to come to you after class and talk to you about what I didn't understand. I was one of them kids. Um, But yeah, one time I told her, I said, look, I'm not going to class. Like, I'm just not. <laughs> I'm on my cycle. I'm going to sit here and wait until my mother comes. And I had me a little jacket. I put a little jacket over the seat because I was already, you know, messed up so i put a little jacket over the seat that way i wouldn't get the seat you know all uh, messed up and i waited on my mama and my mama came to come get me she sure did she sure did my mama was like, i love my mama <laughs> my mama when i when i tell you she would like be at work and she would come get me she would be like on the clock and she would come get me. And my school from her job was not far. I mean, it was not, uh, it was not close. It was far, like far. So, but she, she did, she came to come get me and I will never forget that. But yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all, you know, a little bit of my stories, especially if you're like a teenager and you're, you know, you ain't got nobody to talk to. You don't have nobody to, uh, you know because some people don't some people don't have people to talk to even if you feel embarrassed you know you can click on this video and be like hey okay she understands like this is normal because you done yeah people people with these muscle cards be pissing me off when I tell you to, to the complete highest maximum. But anyways, yeah, you know, think of me as a big sister, especially if you ain't got nobody to talk to. Maybe you're embarrassed. I know I was, but, but me and my mom, we had to have a conversation. Uh, she literally sat me down and was like, this is what you need to do because you got this going on and this, this, that, this going on. Your body's changing and this, that, the third. And I'm like, oh, Lord, I ain't even trying to have this conversation with you. Um, but yeah. <laughs> And, you know, talk, if you have somebody that you trust that you want to talk to, talk to them because it will really, like, help. You know, it will really help. Like, literally, it will really help. But as long as you have your little ibuprofen in your bag and your tampons and your, uh, your pads in your bag, you should be all right. You should be straight. You should be good. And remember, if a teacher or somebody don't let you go to the bathroom you get your ass up and you go to the bathroom and then you call your mama or whoever you need to call and tell them to come get you because we don't play that shit you understand i know i did i most certainly did not especially if i was on my now if i really if i could wait to use the bathroom i'd be like okay you know cool i'll wait you know Ain't no thing. But if I really had to go to the bathroom, like I could not hold it, and I was on my cycle, I'm going to the bathroom every time, whether you say yes or no. Especially because I'm not disruptive in class. I sit sit my ass down, do my work. I don't talk. <laughs> I barely talk to the teacher. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And you just gonna not let, allow me to go to the bathroom? I feel like that was very rude and disrespectful of you as a woman. <laughs> do teachers really didn't care though? Do I? Hey, can I go to the bathroom? Yeah. Take the pass. Go to the bathroom. 
you know what i'm saying dudes let me go all that um dude teachers just let me go to the bathroom but women teachers i don't know what the fuck was up with them it was like i don't know i don't know but yeah so thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you learned something especially if you were like our younger uh in you know in in middle school high school i know certain i know a lot of age different age groups watch my channel and things like that and this video was recommended so um somebody did ask me to do this so obviously somebody needed it and which is why i explained it the way i did because i really want y'all to feel me and feel my experiences and be like okay yeah she went through this and she did this that, and the third so i'm gonna do that too you feel me like um yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> but no seriously i hope somebody listened to this video and took something out of it like i i mean well even though i joke and do all that other stuff i really do mean well and i want all of my supporters to feel like they can talk to me when they need it and they don't have nobody else you understand me all right that's why i do the videos i do you know i do depression video i talk about depression and toxic relationships i talk about all, i talk about all that shit the hygiene it's feeling part of, i talk about everything on my channel i'm very very open i'm an open book this is how i really am in real life too so yeah if you have a video that you want me to do but you're embarrassed to tell me tell me you know what i'm saying i would definitely respond i respond to my supporters um especially if you hit me up on instagram i have tiktok now um the main reason why i made a tiktok is because i know some people have tiktok and so i'm like okay well you know let me see if i need to put myself out there to for people to you know reach out to me especially if they need it okay so i'm here if you need me my instagram is kyla latrice and my tiktok is kyla latrice 98 what's my snapchat kyla latrice with two e's my snapchat is kyla latrice with two e's i don't really be on my the only time i get on facebook is to promote something i don't really get on facebook like that but yeah um thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you learned something hopefully you got something out of this video um follow my social medias and i will see y'all in the next video oh hold on so this is my bag with everything filled up i got you know everything in here and i'm going to put it underneath the sink and this also helps me keep track with what i'm what i need and what i'm you know running low on and things like that so yeah and now i'm going to put this under the sink to be at use when i at an arm's reach when i need it okay all right y'all i didn't talk y'all head off enough but you know we family we here with like i'm gonna give you my experiences and you gonna give me your experiences and we just gonna talk about it you understand so yeah i'll see y'all in my next one peace